here dead lie we, because we did not choose to live, and shame the land from which we sprung. Life, to be sure, is nothing much to lose, but young men think it is, and we were young. What it was, was two great armies taking the first measure of each other in a war that would last 10 more years. We had everything on our side, artillery, air support. We had helicopter resupply, reinforcements, all of that. The enemy had what he brought on his back, no more. And yet, he persevered. There was no give in those soldiers. They were as good as we were, and they weren't going to quit. We landed dead dark, jumped out, and then fell flat while the helicopter lifted out. And then there was a voice out of the darkness. It says, follow me and I'll take you to the command post. Watch where you step. There's a lot of bodies out here in the grass and they're all American. What I knew at that moment was this was the biggest battle of the war to date and that I had it as an exclusive. There was not another reporter or photographer there. It was my story. My best friends, my most loyal friends are soldiers, ordinary soldiers. I literally owe my life to them. If they were not as fine and courageous and decent as they were in battle standing alongside me, I would not be here. My books would never have been written.